right, guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, it is so great to see you. And friends, we're going to be talking about another tripod here today. This is the Colorado Tripod Company Centennial 4 tripod. Now I got this tripod from Colorado Tripod Company about three months ago and guys this was definitely one of those things that really impressed me right out of the get-go so much that I wanted to do a review on this thing almost immediately. You may recall earlier this year I did a review on this is the Colorado Tripod Company the Centennial this is their original Centennial tripod. Um, I received this about 10 months ago did a review seven months ago and this was one of those tripods that I was, I think even in the video I talk about, this thing hits way out of its weight class. And so when this one came through, boy, I, I already had a little bit of a foundation of somewhat to expect based upon what I had experienced with their smaller one. And guys, this thing didn't disappoint. But you'll happy to know that I stuck to my guns and used the crap out of this thing over the last three months. And now, and now I'm ready to give you guys the lowdown of how this thing has performed. But before we dive into all that, I do want to pause here for a moment. We're going to hit that little pause button and I want to thank you for tuning in. Now, whether you're a new visitor or you're coming back, I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to explore this channel. Now, if you haven't yet subscribed, be sure to do that before you leave. That way you don't miss out on any of our future content. And plus, subscribing to the channel is just one of the things that you need to do in order to qualify for our monthly giveaways, which, hey, let's call a spade a spade. We have some really cool prizes that we give away each and every single month. So you don't want to miss out on your chance to win something. With all that out of the way, pull up a seat and let's go. Now, as you know, I do a lot of reviews on this channel and the vast majority of these reviews are long-term reviews after I've had a chance to get out there and put whatever gear that I'm reviewing to the test. I want to give you guys actual real-world feedback of the gear that I am reviewing. As I see it, long-term reviews simply have much more merit and they give you guys the details that you need to make informed buying decisions of the gear that you're purchasing or gear that you're looking at. But sometimes gear comes along that is so darn exciting, it's hard for me not to push out kind of a a first impression review right off the bat and guys this tripod really fits that description from the moment that i unboxed this thing and held it for the first time guys i knew this was a going to be a very exciting product to be testing or i don't want to call it a product a tripod to be testing and now that i've had this thing for three months this tripod still gives me all those feels. Now, full disclosure, while Colorado Tripod Company sent this tripod for me to review, I did not buy this, guys. They are not paying me for this review, so my impressions that you're going to hear here of this tripod are completely my own. So, Colorado Tripod Company, and anybody that is considering this thing, here is my opinion. Now, friend, when I unboxed this tripod for the very first time, I was really blown away with the quality and the craftsmanship that was really clear right off the get-go upon inspecting this thing. In fact, I was so excited to put this thing to the test that I immediately took a trip to the beach and, of course, took it out with me to a four-day trip to the Glamis Sand Dunes. So, in, in other words, my first field experience with this thing were in salt water and sand. <laughs> Nothing like uh, trial by fire, eh? Now, over the last three months, I continue to take this thing with me out in the field. And guys, I don't want to say that I beat it up, but I definitely put it through its paces. Now, every time, no matter the situation or the condition, guys, this tripod has really held strong and given me the performance that I demand out of my gear, or rather, my tripods. Now, let's go over some of the details of this tripod. You know what? Actually, first, let's do something... I want to, so you can see a little bit of a comparison. So here is the original Centennial tripod. And of course, here is this big boy right here. So you can see there's a difference in size. You can see there's a little difference in some of the material that they've used. And right here, even a, a difference in the thickness of the apex and the construction of the apex as well. All right, back to the details of this tripod. Now, 
as you can see here, the Apex is absolutely beautifully engineered on this thing here. Now this tripod is lightweight and it's compact at just 4.6 pounds. And from head to toe here, this thing is 24.5 inches collapsed. Now there's 10 layers of carbon fiber construction, which also helps to making this thing lightweight. In one aspect, this tripod reminds me of the Peak Design Travel Tripod. And let me expound on that. I love how Peak Design is so light and balanced even when you extend it. And the Centennial Tripod feels the same way, guys. When you extend this thing out and you're holding it, it feels really lightweight for the size of this thing. And, and speaking of which, this extends fully up to 70 inches height. So this is a this is a tall boy and it will go down to a minimum of 1.5 inches off the ground. That is pretty impressive. You see this apex right here lays so flat that you can get really low to the ground. And matter of fact, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to extend this out here and give me one second. Okay, take a look at that right there, guys. Now. I'm gonna change the angle here so you can see this in a moment, but this is very low to the ground. And let's see if I can get this into the camera or at least where it's still focused so you can get a sense of, okay, this could be interesting. Okay, there we go. All right, so you can see just how thin that is. It is extremely, again, when they talk about this being a low profile, yeah, you really get something that gets low to the ground. Now, this has a big, 100 pound payload. Not that you're gonna ever have a 100 pound camera on there, but it's good to know that this thing can handle some weight. Now the rapid lever locks really make quick work of getting this thing set up. The lugs are very robust and gives the tripod absolutely superb sturdiness. Now here, take note of my next point, the leg angles on this thing. This is where the magic is for this thing. And one of the things that really impressed me out of the gate, you have 25 degrees, 55, 80, and 92 degrees of versatility and when I spoke about earlier about wanting to do a review right off the get-go the, the stability of this thing is really where this tripod really shines. It sits very wide compared to most tripods, which is a large factor towards why this thing is so darn stable. All right, here's an important part of this tripod right here that really shined and really impressed me. The leg angles, you have 25, 55, 85, 92 degrees of versatility. And guys, earlier I spoke about wanting to do a review of this thing right off the get-go, the stability is one of the things where this thing just kicks ass. You have such a wide stance with this thing that makes it so darn stable. Now you have four leg sections with twist locks for locking down the legs with one handed. And the last part, one of the last things that I want to point out here, if you came up to me on the street and handed me this tripod without mentioning price and just told me to play around with it for a few minutes and then guess the price range. In all reality, based upon my years of testing so many tripods out, I would have guessed this thing would probably be in the range of 900 bucks to a thousand dollar price range. But this is what the epic part about this thing is that this thing is priced at $499. That between that and how wide and how stable this thing was, that was one of those well, not really one of those, a few of those things that really made this thing stand out and just where I just wanted to gab about it. But Again, I waited three months, I played around with it and really tested the hell out of this thing. So at $4.99, that price point is just absolutely ridiculous in a good way. Specs and features are great to discuss, but the proof, the proof is in the pudding, which is why I took this tripod to Glamis, uh, Lake Kushima, and a number of other places. Now, speaking of Glamis, what was abundantly clear there is that this tripod is a rock star in the sand. Now, not only was it incredibly stable on the shifting sand, but the seals in the legs did such a fantastic job keeping the sand out of the leg tubes, which is more than what I can say about my Jeep and my camera bag. Jesus, I'd be willing to bet we can go out into my Jeep right now and as many times as it has been vacuumed over the last few months, I'd be willing to bet there's still sand in that thing. And speaking of which, I even loaned this tripod to another photographer at Glamis and his first impressions or his impressions of this tripod was it was a killer tripod as well. Now, not just with Glamis, but I also brought this up to Lake Kushima when we were filming up there for the Photography Trek and Adventure series. And this thing was an absolute rock star. And let me 
Take a side note here. When you think about the importance of a tripod, a tripod is the first line of defense. It is an insurance policy for your camera. And let me take a deeper dive into that. You have a camera, an expensive camera, probably thousands of dollars sitting on top of a tripod. If that tripod is not stable or is easy to fall over or just is not built well, your camera is at risk. And that's why I keep going back to it's not just from a stability standpoint of making sure you don't have any shake or you know vibrations or blurriness in your photos, but the the other factor that's so important with a camera with a tripod being stable is the obvious. It has to hold your camera up there to be safe. In a lot of cases, I use Lake Kushima as a good example. My son's up there, he's constantly bumping into my stuff, and tripods are no exception. And the little challenge with that is he will often come up and he will grab the legs of a tripod and swing underneath it. And I caught him a couple times. He's five years old, he's having fun, but it's good to know, peace of mind, that while he's going through that phase of swinging on these tripods, that my gear is safer relatively safe. <laughs> and here's the thing, I've been testing gear for a long, long time, and guys, I feel I have a pretty good idea in just a few days if something is going to be reliable and stand the test of time or not. Now I had a feeling when I unboxed this tripod and its performance in a wide range of environments and situations over the last three months has confirmed, guys, my initial impressions. And I keep coming back to the same words to describe this thing. It's well built, it's reliable, easy to use, lightweight, and I wanna put on there, it is affordable for a four series tripod. Hard to believe with the quality that you're getting here, this thing is actually very affordable. I mean, this tripod has everything that you want and then some. Again, not to be broken record syndrome here, now you can understand why I really wanted to do a review early on. This tripod really goes the extra distance. And when I test gear, most of the time, what I'm testing is perfectly fine. It doesn't suck, but it doesn't blow me away either. And really, at the end of the day, what Colorado Tripod Company has done here is created something that is really, truly impressive. This thing is absolutely a rock star. Now, if you're looking for a tripod that can tackle any environment with ease, this should be one of the tripods on your short list. Of course, I'll keep using this and testing it and putting it in even more challenging situations. But after three months of using this thing, this thing is rocking it out of the house. And I'm pretty sure this thing is going to handle anything that I can throw at it. So there you have it guys, three months of using this tripod and it is crushing it. Now, if you're interested in learning more about the Centennial 4 Series tripod from Colorado Tripod Company, check out the link below for a link to their website. Trust me, you're not gonna be disappointed with this bad boy. All right guys, let's shift gears and talk about our current giveaway. Here are the list of prizes that we have this time around. We have a ViewSonic 34 inch VP3481 curved monitor. We have a DJI Mavic Mini 2, a Hex Brand Rager mini sling bag. As always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So get watching watching some of our other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the form. Now, if you registered on the site and introduce yourself during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But as I keep saying, swing on by, we would love to see it. And friend, that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk and how to say hello in the form, check out the description below. Good luck. Where well, there you go, friend, another tripod review in the bag. If you like this video, if you found some value, if it was helpful in any way to you, do me a favor, hit that like button down below if you're currently not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and while you're at it, kick smash that bell to be notified each time that we come out with a video. With that said, my friends, I'm going to get out here, you get out there, stay healthy and create your best shot.